So we're here at the Zenith booth at Sun and Fun 2020 and uh, with the familiar face here, this is John Humbert and his uh, Super 701. Now, uh, John, you just brought your airplane over to the Zenith booth. You've been over in Paradise City earlier this week. What were you doing out there? I'm doing stole competitions, national stole. Um short takeoff and landing in, in my short takeoff and landing airplane right you know, now you said competition it's a demonstration you're right you're right correct me there it is it is a demonstration so now they are they are words. ranking they are measuring and ranking just like a competition right, so, right. Uh, so we do have the, the official um landing and takeoff lengths right. yeah yep so how did it go it went well we you know it was we had to work for it it was gusty um yeah the airplane is awesome you know when when the conditions get gusty i think that really brings this airplane into the potential that it can peak with with really any of them right yep. and it's not just the airplane of course the piloting skills i've well, seen i've seen the, the the camera when you're inside and you can see the handwork that you're doing on the control stick it's pretty like i mean you obviously know the airplane very well and and you're skilled at doing that but it's because it's kind of awesome to see yeah i'm, I'm anxious but, to uh, watch that too i had cameras going yeah. so we'll, we'll, we'll see that here in a right, week or two i'll yeah, yeah. through it but i know i know it's squirrely there on a few of those runs and yeah. yeah someday we'll put a good pilot in this plane <laughs> <laughs> you keep saying that we've already got, obviously got a good pilot and you know I've, I've been you know we've like everybody else i've been following you over the last few years doing it like i mean you're getting better at it like i mean the airplane basically hasn't really changed the last few years your takeoffs are getting shorter and your landings are getting right, shorter yeah, so uh it's it's the way i build it i haven't made any any modifications and but, I, yeah i feel like i'm growing with it because i went to the very first uh, national stole competition that was in texas um uh, March of 2020, I believe it right. was, and been to quite a few competitions yeah. since. So I, I feel like I'm beginning to get the feel for it. Yep. Yeah, that's excellent. You Always. know, and I and I've been, uh, you know, I've been, I've been watching what you're doing here for again se several years, and you know, the, you're up against uh, the Steve Henry, you know, and of course, you know, Steve Henry had an incident earlier in the show, but that got fixed. It was awesome to see the community get behind uh, getting Very the prop much, yeah. and everything else, and it was great that he was out competing, but. You know, but your numbers, and you know, he came in number first place, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Now, you know, and he's got this highly modified 300 horsepower uh, Yamaha powered, uh, what is it, adjust aircraft? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, um, it's a Highlander. Highlander. Yep. Yep. And, uh, and, and does amazingly well with it. But, you know, you were just, and just feet behind it. <laughs> And you are here, you know, in, in a 701 airplane, yeah. tricycle gear. Tricycle gear, uh, flew it down from Tennessee. UL yeah. power, you've got less than a third, of, well, nearly a third of the horsepower, but I guess yeah. uh, 130 versus 300 horsepower. And um, and you're, you're, you're basically right there. Like, I mean, and uh, it's amazing to see you get that close, you know, with, with again, a stock little airplane. The 701, that's a 40 year old design. And you basically right. built basically true to form. Yes, it's pretty, um, it's pretty much all stock. And yeah. and you know we've already talked about it. Like I mean, you've got the heavy you've got the heavy doors and stuff, which right. are awesome doors, but they're not lightweight. Yeah, and they're stuff. not really stolen competition uh, doors, it, it, right? Exactly. Right. And uh, and you did amazingly well. And um, I, I hope with the video I'll be able to show some of the takeoffs and landings yeah. with it because we can really we can really see that and 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 not just the one time it's consistently you, you're you're doing really well and i always see. say you know a, a, a good pilot is someone that can do things consistently you know nailing one landing that's great but <laughs> right, do you want right. to be able to do it all the time yeah like i say we had to work for it steve henry right. i mean steve henry's the one to beat he, i think his his shortest takeoff was 20 feet and mine was 25 well, so well, i know but when I'm, you're i'm okay with that yep. 20 to 25 feet like i mean in any in the real world that's truly splitting hair it's not it's not a it's not one is more capable than the other because in the sense that like i mean they're they're splitting yeah. Hair, and then when you look at the machine, and 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 you know, you where do you fly in from to compete? So yeah, I'm straight off the farm. My my little strip's 330 feet. So. Right, and, and, the, and how many? And you flew it all the way here. Yes, right. so you know, I, like, yeah, I flew direct, nonstop. Yeah, so, and, and nonstop yeah. too, which you know, I shoot that's longer than I've flown cross country <laughs> nearly ever in a scene. Like. Right. Yeah, yeah. So I flew the five and a half hours nonstop, and then five. flew the first demo with the same fuel I left yeah. Tennessee with. But yeah. you know. 
flying five and a half hours, that's cross country capable, you know, for any type of airplane, because right. that's longer than most people fly, myself included. You know, my bladder is usually my well, limiting factor. My, mine was <laughs> limiting right as I was getting here for sure. Yep. <laughs> but uh, to, to fly five and a half hours and then to take off in 24 feet, like, I mean, that's that's yep. incredible. That's and, incredible. And didn't, and, didn't make any changes. You know, and, usually, usually I'll pit, re pitch the frog for right, if and, it's a true competition. And, and I mean, it's the exact same way. So, you, you know, that's really a testament to again great great airplane engine prop combination but obviously great pilot and and builder because you built this airplane of course you're yeah, not just yeah. a pilot you actually build it and maintain it you are your your crew chief as well aren't you right, so right. uh do, do doing, doing know, just an amazing job i like what the the aopa guy you know said there in the article uh, a year or two ago he said it's it's amazing how chris designed this airplane specifically for me so many years ago and it right. really does it just fits yeah, i love the yeah, plan yeah yep. yeah yeah it's, so it's it's awesome to see that and congratulations again and thank you for you know for for making all of us uh, zenith uh, builders and flyers proud because uh, we can really see the capabilities of these incredible little machines the so. capability that's and you just said the capability is absolutely incredible just go cross country beat around the farm just do whatever you want to in these airplanes and they do extremely well and yep. and that's right and i know a lot of a lot of folks already know your story but you know you built this for your personal airplane you weren't even thinking about a stole competition yeah i never you? never dreamed of doing the the actual competitions of this plane it right. was for me and my wife or you know one other passenger right. to play around this lower smoky mountains and and it just started i started seeing the capabilities and started stretching out on the cross countries right. and all of a right. sudden i'm doing competitions yep. right and, and it you know as as we know you know when you take something to the to the really competitive level and of course the stole circuit we, we as we can all see it's become very competitive with special purpose built airplanes and all right. just like I'm you mentioned sure he is here he goes there's the rotation he's off the ground dragging the tail huge vertical there for john humbert looks like around a 35 foot launch 35 foot takeoff there and what's great to see, maybe not if you're Steve Henry, but what's great to see is John Humbert just nipping at Steve Henry's heels all week. He is indeed. That was a 35-foot takeoff. Your airplane, at the end of the day, you're you're right up there, and like I mean, there's there was no, you were never really competing for for second place. Like I mean, you were like a hundred feet a, a, oh, above ahead the of, yep. of the third place, pretty much. Like I mean, it was Steve Henry with that highly modified. Uh, Yamaha powered airplane and he consistently came in first place but then you were just a few feet behind second place and then it was about a hundred feet behind on the third something place like some, yep. something yep. and not to downplay of course they're great pilots great yeah. airplanes in all the categories the like, capability I mean, is incredible yeah, oh, it really is. There, but, but my yeah. and my point is though like I mean it, it's it's become a competitive space and you're pretty much flying this in a stock little airplane in that competitive space uh, yeah and, and so, I built I, I, realistically I built this plane way too heavy you know I built right. it, I built it yeah. for comfort and it's got yeah, full yeah. blast and full upholstery right so, and we've talked know. about that and it, and it's a nice airplane but it, again it's not built stole specific you know right. to win competitions you know it's fun to watch the stole guys they, they basically pull everything out of their airplane when exactly they, when they land you know seats upholstery everything yep, yep. doors yeah, so engine cowls moving <laughs> forward to my next build that, that's what i will be looking at weights a little more and building well, it more sure, for the because, stole, uh, stole yeah. it's just something i didn't expect yep. right right and and that's the thing and you still still fly amazingly well with in that so so again congratulations and uh look forward to seeing you flying around more i appreciate it thank you All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and we want to talk a bit about our weather tonight. We have a new screen for everyone who is watching online, and that will walk you through some of the basic information you need to know. It is currently southwest wind. It's 15 gusting 19. The turf is extremely dry. We obviously have crowd favorite for today. It has to be John Humbert. John's flying a UL-powered 130 horsepower 2018 Zenith Super 701, and what he does with that airplane is not what you expect. First off, it has a horn. Yes, every little red airplane needs a horn. It's a little red engine that could. And he likes to drag the tail on takeoff. And that's because he's trying to maximize the use of the Zenith's very unique design, which brought that tail up extremely high to be able to increase the angle of attack. Another thing you might be interested in is as you watch him climb, his deck angle seems impossible. It's John Humbert on the horn. Off the ground and just... 